Now we will look at the second law of logs, which is the quotient law or the law for division. It reads the log of a quotient equals the difference of their logs. I want to emphasize here, people, that it is the log of a quotient and equals the difference of their logs. That is important, as I shown in the previous video, that the product law counts for one log and the quotient law counts for one log. Okay, so if you have one log where x divided by y with base a, okay, then the quotient law applies. That then is equal to the log of x with base a minus the log of y with base a. So I repeat, it is the log of a quotient which equals the difference of the logs. Right, so when we look at examples, this is really quite simple if you understood the product law. Now we have a difference of two logs. Okay, and that equals the quotient log. So that is then the log of 5 divided by 2, which gives me a log of 2.5. I'm sorry. Or if we have the log of 45 minus the log of x, so we've got the difference. We've got two logs. Therefore, we can apply the quotient law, which means it's the log of 45 divided by x, which cannot be simplified any further. All right? So I repeat, we've got the difference of two logs, which equals the single log and the quotient, so the division. All right? If you look at this one again, it is the log of 11 divided by P, so it's a single log. Therefore, the rule applies that it is equal to the difference of the logs. So that becomes log P. Okay, then I want to just emphasize again, people, that this is one log and the quotient law applies to one log, okay? Which equals then two logs. So therefore, the difference, okay, of the two logs. Therefore, we say the log of a quotient equals the difference of their logs with s so it is two and as in the product law i want you to take note that if you have the log of x minus y again people this is a single log it's one log okay and there is no law for the difference of one log Therefore, the difference uh, or the log of x minus y is not equal to the log of x divided by the log of y, right? It is really important that you have the log of a quotient equals the difference of the logs, which is two logs.